Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Laurie from Cooks Girl Craft, and I've got a scrapbook process video to share with you. Aren't you excited that I finally posted another one? This is my 53rd. I think I'm averaging like one a month. Maybe I will get better at it um, soon. I don't know. Anyway, so today's layout is actually vacation photos from a road trip that my husband and I went on back in 2015. I am still working on that album. Um, I had kind of a vacation-y kit put together, um, but it's, it's kind of hard with some of the pictures that I have because the vacation kit that I put together is very bright and colorful, very tropical. It was actually kind of like a girl's trip themed paper pad that I um, was predominantly using. And the pictures that I have taken are mainly pictures of like buildings or monuments. This is, these are pictures from Dealey Plaza in um, uh, Dallas, Texas. And I just didn't feel like some of what I had in the vacation kit was appropriate <laughs> for these photos. So what I did was I went into the counterfeit kit that I made for June and I just pulled some, some very, you know, neutral. You can see it's like the black hound's tooth, um, two different types of black hound's tooth patterns, the solid black cardstock, um, and some kind of like ledger patterned paper. Just trying to keep it very neutral, very respectful in terms of the photos um, and what we were capturing, kind of like where we were. We had just done um, the the Sixth Floor Museum, which is all about the assassination of JFK. So, you know, not really wanting to put like a bunch of happy cameras and all kinds of all kinds of stuff like that. I just wanted it to be. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I, I just wanted the photo. I wanted you to be able to, to see the photos and to, to know, I, I wanted the papers and the embellishments to reflect, uh, the sentiment of the photos. So kind of keeping it on a very like neutral base. Um, you saw that I had pulled was, I had some, uh, a pack of cheeky studio wildflowers there. I do bring in some color with those beautiful wildflowers. I really love working with those because, I mean, you can use them on anything. Vacation photos, photos of your kids. I mean, they just go with everything. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that you can't see what I'm doing up there, but that was a sticker that said beautiful, and it was, uh, it's translucent, and the beautiful is in black, and I felt like, you know, obviously the black goes with the color scheme of the papers and such, and it was beautiful. Um, you'll, I'll add something else to the title in in a second. But it was beautiful. It's, it was a gorgeous day. It was kind of hot. But it was a bright sunny day. Um, they had the water fountains out, which was really peaceful and just really gorgeous. I really, um, I really like, I, this, I, this wasn't the first time that I've been to Dallas. I'd been there uh, once before. And I really do enjoy that area and what they've done with it in terms of the monuments and um, how they, you know, keep it very, they keep it looking very nice. So that's obviously why I took some pictures there. And then I'm just, because um, it was kind of like being at a park, there was, you know, grass, the beautiful water fountain. I added a couple flowers um, just because they're very pretty. I didn't use any of the flowers that had word sentiments on them, um, but I just kind of did a few little embellishment clusters with some flowers just to bring in some color. Some of them I kept flat. Some of them I popped up on the foam dots. That's my Xyron sticker maker, which is, is super easy for small stuff like this. And then I'm not having to try to cut um, an adhesive piece to fit the uh, the small little die cut. So um, I love the Xyron sticker maker. I could use that all the time. So foam dots, the Xyron sticker maker adhesive. Um, I was also using some Recollections double-sided adhesive. Oh, and I ran out. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. And I still haven't gotten a replacement. I did run out while I was trying to make <laughs> stickers out of those pieces. So unfortunately, I did have to you know cut the double-sided squares in half <laughs> and use those 
on those small pieces. Um, those are um, actually little planner stickers. I got them in um, a journaling subscription box a couple months ago. And I haven't used them until now, but they're black and white. They are very versatile. And I love the, the there's a lot of different things, uh, a lot of different things and pieces, shapes, and sizes in there. I'll, I've been using those a lot lately. Those are some Tim Holtz border strips. I've had those in my stash for forever. I think someone sent them to me um, because she wasn't going to use them. And she just sent me a big box of scrapbook stuff. So I'm just cutting that down to size so I can ha kind of have a little bit um, in the bottom corner and then some of the top corner. Um, and then I, I don't think I've added the rest of my my title. Here he is. Um, those are some old American crafts alphas. They have a roadmap theme to them. I don't have a whole lot of um, vowels left, but I do want to use them because I want to make the title be beautiful view. So I'm going to, because I don't have an E, uh, I use a backwards three to make my, you know, it's like a cursive E, a capital cursive E. That's, that's what it is. Um, so I, I am able to, to use up some of those there. And that's pretty much it on this layout. I don't go overboard too much. You'll see in the close ups. um, you know, I'm looking at some of these stickers, but none of them just really seem to fit with these photos and, and what I'm trying to do. So I keep this one very, very basic, which is kind of nice sometimes. Um, so you'll see in the close ups that are going to follow, um, what the whole thing looks like, because I'm sorry that some of it is cut off here. Um, but yeah, uh, subscribe to the channel, because I'm going to be, I swear I'm going to be posting more scrapbook process videos, and I'll probably do more of this vacation album, so you can kind of see how the rest of it turns out. Give this video a thumbs up like, and follow me on social media below, so you never miss out on more scrapbook stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.